Yo, what is up guys, Casey here, and today we are gonna be continuing the messaging app. In the last one, we almost finished uh, the message view cell or the detail view, so you can see details about the message, but in this episode, we're gonna finalize that, so let's get right into it. Open back up your Xcode project. Okay, so um, first things first, we have a couple uh, problems right here in our message detail.swift. Um, I usually say post data because the data we're posting, but today uh, in this video I said message data. So right here it says if let recipient equals message data, and we're pulling the recipient from uh, the Firebase database. Um, and then, so in message detail .cell .swift, I guess it took user instead of user image as string. So if you guys didn't get that, put that in there. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't catch that. And then right here where we're um, uploading the image, at the end, I forgot to put the in. Okay, so ref data with max size, completion data error in, and then we should have no errors anymore. So you can run that. All we need to worry about is our chat VC. So in our chat VC, um, first thing that we need to do is um, import Firebase database. Okay, and then after um, we've we created our IB outlet, we need to import some or create some variables. So var message detail will equal uh, an array of message detail. Okay, and then we have var detail, and that's a type message detail. Okay. Um, var current user will equal keychain wrapper dot standard dot string for key. Let's see, me UID. And then we need a recipient, var recipient. Of type string and then var message ID. That's gonna be of type string. Perfect. Now, uh, when the view loads, we need to call our Firebase database in order to upload the data. So let's just say fir database dot database dot reference dot reference dot child user users with an s dot child um, current user and then another dot child okay and then dot observe We want observe event type with uh, Firebase snapshot void, and it's gonna be dot value. And then with is going to be voila. And we're gonna say snapshot. in and that should be good I don't know why this indented right here if you uh, do command curly brace it goes back uh, that's kind of a cool little tip um, inside here we need to say if let snapshot equals snapshot 
dot children dot all objects as a um, fir data fir data snapshot. So if and then I don't know why this keeps doing this. There. Uh, if let so we need to say self dot message detail uh, dot remove all. Okay, because otherwise uh, when new data is added, it just duplicates instead of removing the objects and then adding new ones, which we saw in our first messaging app. It, it looks horrible. Uh, this fixes that problem. And then uh, for data in snapshot, um, let's just say if let message dict for dictionary equals data dot value dot um, as this gonna be a dictionary string comma any object okay and then we want to say um, scroll up we want to say let key equal data dot key and then let post or that's like what we're posting let uh, info equal message detail and then message key will be key and message data will be message dict for dictionary Okay, and now we'll just say self dot message detail dot append um, info. Perfect. And now all we have to do down here is say table view dot reload data. Okay, we have to add self right here. Self dot table view dot reload data. And now that we got that, um, on a number of rows in section, we can just return message detail dot count. Okay. And in self row at index path, um, we want to say let message detail. That's, I say DET short uh, equal message detail index path dot row um, and we just say if let cell equals table view dot DQ reusable cell um, we want the one just with ident identifier and here we're gonna say message cell. And we're going to say as message detail cell. Okay. And then if that is true, or if that's not nil, pretty much, we're going to say cell dot configure cell. And in here, we're just going to throw in the message detail. DET, which is a variable we created up here, and then return so. Else, um, we can return. Else, we can return this. Um, now we need to create a couple functions. We need to create prepare for segue and uh, did select row at index path. Um, did select row is a UI table view function and prepare for segue gets variables ready um, so you can pass them. And then we need to uh, create the sign out IB action, okay? So um, let's just say did select 
and it will pop up, deselect Rowette in next path. And if it's not, it's just because your computer is a little bit slower, which is all right. Um, and in here we want to say if let destination view controller oh des t destination view controller um, equals segue dot destination. as message VC which we haven't created yet so we can create that right now um, over in the side on controller file just right click new file and cook with touch class and we can name this message VC cool next and then create awesome so this function that I was just creating I put it in the wrong place uh, segue would be a function up here but this is the did select let's create the other function that we need uh, prepare for segue just a second one and then just uh, command X this code copy and paste it in there uh, in the prepare for segue function and now that will work um, we just need to say destination view controller dot recipient equals recipient and then des destination view controller dot message ID equals message ID. Okay. Uh, these variables are like this because in message VC, we need to create those variables. So we're going to say var message ID. That's going to be of type string. And then var recipient is going to be of type string as well. Perfect. Save that. Now if we go back to chat VC, it is working. So now in did select row at index path, recipient equals message detail. And then we're going to say index path dot row tab dot recipient and then message ID. equals message detail and then index path dot row dot message ref I guess oh that's a dot key okay oh that's supposed to be ref I spelled that wrong so we can change that um, save that and then go to message detail I don't know how I could misspell that message ref oh yep misspelled that um, okay, so message so in chat VC, um, everything should be good there. Okay, so now if they did select, let's preform uh, segue, right? Yeah, perform segue with identifier. Uh, the identifier is going to be to message. Sender will be no. Okay. Um, and then the last function we're going to create here is our IB outlet. I mean, IB action, uh, func sign out. The sender is going to be any object. And in here, we're going to say try fir auth dot auth dot sign out and then keychain wrapper 
dot standard dot remove object for key UID. And then here I'm going to say dismiss animated true completion no. And we are all good on the chat BC, I believe. I can double check. Yes, we're all good on our chat BC. Now, if we just go to main.storyboard, uh, we need to link up our IB outlet. And then I think we have to create the sign out button. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's the Okay, so uh, we called it logout here. But let's link everything up. So right click on the controller, sign out, touch up inside, um, and then our table view, just click and drag to the table view, and that's everything. It all should be connected. Our segues should be working. Um, so two messages, um, we need to create a new view controller. Just throw that up there. And uh, from chat VC on the controller part, click right click and drag and click show. Okay. And um, this, I think we called it the identifier. So right click, I mean, click on the segue right here. And the identifier is two messages. Okay. Enter. Copy that just to make sure that we have perfectly right and go to messages or chat VC and down here where it says perform segue with identifier paste that there and as long as those two are the same you shouldn't have any crashes uh, head back to the main.storyboard and um, click on the view controller and up here in the custom class click on that and this will be message VC Okay, yeah, message VC. Make sure you have the view controller clicked, otherwise it's not gonna work. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it to this part of the video, you guys are the real fans. Uh, I appreciate you guys. You guys um, help me with my coding and keep me going. And I appreciate you all. Hope this is helping. Uh, some pretty cool stuff in this app. More intermediate to advanced topics. But if you guys understand this uh, and you like it or maybe you just like it, you think it's cool, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are super stoked about the next video, please leave a comment below because I'm getting that out next week. Every Thursday, we have a new video. Right now, we're going through the messages series. Uh, and Saturdays, we have a live stream where I'm streaming the community app so soon. We'll have an app uh, so it's easier for you to learn how to code uh, tips on there. We're going to have quizzes. I'm going to be creating a bot on the app um, so that if you guys have questions, you can go to the bot. And hopefully the bot will soon uh, be able to answer all the questions that you guys need. So um, if I'm not available, you still get your answers or your questions answered. So, yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Have a great one. I'll see you on Saturday live.